back to the big breakfast. It's Friday, the 16th of July. I'm Johnny Vaughan. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Thank Kelly you very Mar much for joining us. And in about 45 minutes' time, we'll be playing at May the Sauce Be With You. Oh, right. When two of our finalists will walk away with literally a fortune in Star Wars merchandise. A fortune. Where are, where are the finalists? Oh, there you can hear the shrine, shrine. just rumbling yeah, with expectation. Literally, the shrine itself trembling. Uh, let's see the shrine tremble, please. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, the shrine, that's actually the shrine trembling. The camera is locked off on a tripod. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, still to come on this morning's show. <laughs> okay, after today's pay per review, we have fun with the puns in our pun of the week. Yes! Yeah. We certainly do, Kelly. And also, uh, at 8 20, I'm going to the hyperspace to team up with Star Wars. I'm not real, I'm going to the shed. Uh, George Lucas. George. George. George Lucas! In the shed this morning, the Star oh, Wars George. big man, the big cheese, the big man. Then at 8.40 oh, we look at the movies, then dare to open them on the same day as The Phantom Menace in The Sizzler. That's the Sizzler. Yes! How about, how about The Sopranos last night? Anyone watch that? Yeah. Unbelievable. 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 Read the critics for this thing. It's one of the best shows they've all ever watched. The puns have fallen off. One of the best shows anyone's ever seen, as I've told wow. you. Wow. Yeah, OK, yeah, right now, sure. do you know what? We've got to go over to Phil Gale. We've got to uh, take in some news, unfortunately. Uh, but here's Phil anyway. Here he is. Phil Gale! Yeah. Good morning. These are the main stories on Friday the 16th of July. A teenager leaves the medics with a quandary. Ricky drives them crazy by gridlocking London and easy-riding Harley on a low-glide state. A 15-year-old girl's recovering in hospital with her family around her after a judge ordered her to have a heart transplant. The girl who, for legal reasons, cannot be identified is recovering at Newcastle's Freeman Hospital. She'd refuse the operation, saying that she didn't want to live with someone else's heart and dependent on daily drugs. Whitehall has refused to comment on Channel 4's exclusive revelation that the government tapped all phone calls between Ireland and the UK over 10 years. The electronic tower in Cheshire, used to intercept signals, was shut down earlier this year. Its main job was anti-terrorism, but it also gathered information said to be of economic and commercial significance. Breast is best if you don't want your child to be fat. New research from Germany has found that breastfeeding up to five months cuts by a third a baby's chance of being obese. The world will soon know whether Mick Jagger did father the new son of his ex-lover, Luciano Murad. He and baby Lucas are each having blood tests at a New York hospital. Jerry Hall has added to the complexity of the tangled web by telling a fashion mag that she's still in love with the Rolling Stone. The flavour of the month brought central London to a standstill yesterday. It wasn't an ice cream, but Latin star Ricky Martin. So many turned up for a glimpse of the chart topper at an Oxford Street record store that the gridlock meant that he was late for the party. But fans expecting him to sing left disappointed when he just thanked them for coming, then vanished into the shop. Here's the sport. <laughs> FA Cup deserters Manchester United have been using up their valued rest time doing guess what? Playing football. They've begun an early warm-up for the new season, hitting two beauties in a 2-0 victory over the Socceroos in Melbourne. Meanwhile, it's claimed that several of United's own players have joined a national campaign to keep them in the FA Cup. Paolo Wanchop is heading for West Ham. The Derby striker is thought to be heading south for around three and a half million pounds. Rio Ferdinand, meanwhile, is staying with the Hammers, having signed for a further six years. He says that he was flattered by recent talk of a move to Roma. Here's the way the weather looks. Temperatures should range from 17 Celsius in Scotland to 23 in England. We're likely to see rain in western Scotland and the north. Uh, the morning will bring some showers to Scotland, West Wales and the north of England. The afternoon will remain cloudy and breezy with some warm sunshine in the south and east. Here's a five-day forecast. Northern areas will have showers and rainy spells with some bright weather. Central regions will have warm sunshine but rain on Sunday and Monday. And the south will have the best of the weather with temperatures in the mid-20s Celsius. Now, you'd normally associate Harley with California because of its long, inviting roads. This Harley, however, is more of a donk than a hog and content with far less than Route 66. Harley, the English bulldog who lives at Riverside, can't get enough of his favourite sport of skateboarding, which he's enjoyed since he was a pup. He's a little choosy, though, uh, turning his nose up at lesser quality skateboards and insisting on the more expensive brands. Big Breakfast News, 8.03. Here are Johnny and Kelly with a newspaper review. Yeah! Thank you very much, Phil. That's you know I've got a bulldog, yeah. Harvey. Harvey can skateboard as well. It's so cool. Yeah. It is really cool. I mean, it must be a bulldog thing. Yeah, I said, I told you, he got on a skateboard and just started putting a bulldog. When are you going to bring him down so we can meet him? Well, do you know, last time I came down and, and there was three girl bands down here and he was quite frightened. He had 15 girl band members just coming towards him going, ah! And he's never been the same. <laughs> uh, thank you very much indeed, Phil Gale. You all right yeah. there, Phil? Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Phil Gale, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We're doing all right. Phil Gale, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I can hear a cry. It's starting. It's... Oh, running thunder. Rio! 
Rolling Thunder. OK, uh, the Express, held by Vader. Girl, 15, forced to have heart swap. This is a Ooh. bizarre story. A girl, she wanted to die rather than have a heart transplant oh. operation. Uh, but a High Court judge has ordered her uh, to have the operation. It's a weird story, that, isn't it? It's a little bit weird. It's a trifle strong. Uh, let's go to the mirror. Uh, Patsy Palmer's holding the mirror. Yeah. Uh, fleeced. Elton John says, my lying cheat manager cost me £20 <gasps> million. Pounds. Um, and it, uh, this, they cover the story. That's, it's a big amount of money, that. Ooh. 20 million. Oh. It shows how much he's earned, though. That, you know, I don't know how long this has been going on for. Whether it ha I don't know whether who we're libeling or whether it's, it's actually true or not. But 20 million. You've got to be earning a lot not to miss that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what occurs to me. If, if you've only discovered that after 25 years, someone's fleeced you to whatever it is, 20 million. Then, whoo, you, you rolling in it. Um, anyway, let's go to the star, uh, held by Jake Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. No, holding the star. Yeah. Um, oh. Star. Yeah. Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> this is wife number three for Rod. What? Rod Stewart oh, really? is said to have fallen head over heels for ex Playboy model Tracy Tweet. This is so on the rebound, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I've, I've got enough spec for Rod and all that. But. Uh, <laughs> But he's this, is, this is, yeah, it is a bit silly. I know he obviously loved that, uh, the, 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 what's called Rachel, Rachel Hunter, Rachel. who supposedly walked out of him. But I, this is terrible. Rod, don't do it, man. Don't do it. I mean, he's had such tricky relationships in the past, hasn't he? Oh, Women no, taking his don't... cash and stuff. He's, what's he doing? He should enjoy himself. He's getting old over there. Well, let's, I think it is time for a spontaneous big breakfast opinion poll. Uh, absolutely right. Uh, Linton, what do you think of Rod doing that? Uh, let's hear the... I, I think you should hold on a bit. Just hold on a bit? Yeah, I reckon. Uh, you can't hurry love. Uh, Geraldine, one of, one of this morning's losers in the... Uh... <laughs> what, what, what do you think about this? Do you think Rod's rushing things? I think he is, yeah. You think he is? Yeah. It's like a bit of few um, weeks, isn't it? Caroline, what do you think? You're a Geordie. <laughs> <laughs> I say that conversationally. Um, I think he should hold off a little bit. You think he should hold off a little bit? That's what I, uh, you think he's rushing in, that can happen on the remake? Yeah. That's very interesting. Thank you very much. The big breakfast team there. Um, <laughs> giving a real insight, I think, a real depth to relationship matters. Thank you very much, Ken. Um, also, there's a photo of Kelly there. Oh, Now, the interesting thing is, do you know why... They, I always say any excuse to show a picture of Kelly Brook is a good one. But this excuse is so tenuous. They put a picture of Kelly Brook on the cover because her boyfriend, Jay, is appearing in a film. Mm, but the only so that's thing why is, Kelly's on it, but the only thing is... No, see, Jay's got a best friend called Jay, and they've linked me with his best friend. But oh, my Jay's away oh, at the please. moment, and he comes back today, so Whoa. he's going to see that, yes. and I'm going to be in trouble. He's going to be in trouble? Oh, yeah. Yes. But it's not they put a picture of Kelly on, because a mate of Kelly's boyfriend... Who <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to be going out with. If you can find a more tenuous reason for putting Kelly Brook on the cover of a newspaper, please. So, one eight one nine eight five all the Anyway, they just might say, what a great body. And that, just leave it at that. Why <laughs> have any excuse? If you want to put her on anyway, you'll find any reason. Kelly Brook will be appearing this morning on the Big Breakfast. <laughs> Do you know what? I, I'm going to get in there. Get in there! Get in there, get in there Stop messing son. about, son. OK, uh, where good rude costs less. This is Blue Movie. Goes out on tellies in Sainsbury's store. Shoppers in a Sainsbury's store got a shock special offer. Oh. Oh. When a porn film appeared on security video screens. No. Oh. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> Oh, it's a good thing for late night shopping, <laughs> isn't it? Because yeah. when it's something like that, it's shopping, just get you in the mood. Yeah. To buy, to buy things. <laughs> <laughs> um, it says here, but well, the great thing, this is really good. This is the sun, I think, at its best. This is the true tabloid spirit coming through here. Customers clasping melons and cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> of course they were. And no doubt fondling bananas and weighing Brussels sprouts in their hands. <laughs> um, they were transfixed by the sight of a couple bonking. Oh, look at his melon! Melon! It's is how it would have looked. Um, some watched the pair's antics for five minutes, so they let it play a bit, didn't they? Everyone <laughs> was rushing for the stop button. Um, Star switched off the TVs. It is thought the two workers had sneaked into the manager's office to watch the film while he was on holiday. <laughs> it's amazing, uh, but the video. <laughs> I won't say the obvious gag, but everyone here knows. Uh, but the video machine was connected to the security system at the shop in Dartford. Ken, Ken, your neck of the woods. Yes. Uh, have you been to the city? No, I haven't been before you ask. Sounds like <laughs> <laughs> this story stinks of you, Kelly. Uh, furious Madeline Chambers, 59, who was shopping with granddaughters Olivia, 7, and Rebecca, 10, said, 
I was disgusted. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, it's great if you go to Texas or MFI because then they have like all the little rooms set out for you already, haven't they? Yeah. Sorry, I'm just. It was handier. Wow. You're twisted, sister. <laughs> um, Jake, this is so weird. You know, you were telling us a story the other day. All right, yeah. Literally, uh, Dave was telling a story a week ago, and exactly the same story has cropped up in the paper. No. Dave tells the story, exactly the same story. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you the story. Uh, angler Ginny Kalbach had been hoping to catch halibut, but when she felt a tug on a line in Resurrection Bay, Alaska, a 25 ton humpback, humpback whale reared out of the water. Whoa. Exactly the same thing happened today. <laughs> <laughs> Need to say, Dave managed to land his. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but actually, the, her rod ran out of line. Uh, she had to quickly cut it. But Dave managed to land that, get it in the net, never. We, but we had it out here for a while. Stank. Um, <laughs> Hey, here's an interesting story for you. Cold War returns as Germans strip off on the beaches. I always what happens. Normally, Germans clash with British people, Spanish people, whatever, when they're on the beach, don't they? What happens when it's just Germans on a beach? Well, again, they clash. Uh, a battle has broken out on Germany's Baltic coast between nudists and anti-nudists in a row that pits prudish tourists from the old West Germany against naturists from the east. In the resort of Parau, angry pensioners, love angry pensioners, uh, threw sand at Elke Ringer. Presumably it's pronounced Ringer. Uh, who was sunbathing nude and demanded to know why she would not retire to one of 68 beaches set aside for nudists. Think about nudists, it's always uh, the bodies you least want to see, yeah. who want to be naturists. <laughs> Everyone always says, I want to be a naturist, and they're like, oh, gorgeous babe, or oh, hunky fella. It's always something like really uh, wrinkly, and they always walk, you know, with their hands behind their back, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is about nudists? It was more like that, the hand over the back. I was, I was in Holland a while ago. I had a big weekend, so I went for a steam and sauna at the end. Oh, yeah. No, I, I really did. I went to, like, a health oh, yeah. club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny, it's that's exactly how the Dutch cab driver reacted when I said, I fancy steam and sauna. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Of course, you know, a really good Greek-looking girl, you know. Um, and went to this place outside, and we're in there, and they're all naked, men, women, children, everyone's naked in this place. It's like a naturist thing. Mm. Which is weird, because I've like a really old pal of mine. And we, and we went to the bar afterwards, it was a nude bar. No! Yeah, so we're just leaning up against, leaning up against the bar like that, just having a chat naked. <laughs> just having a chat. But the weird thing was, all these people were nudists, yeah, and they were playing pool. <laughs> and I tell you what, nude no. people playing pool, and they're going to be really tricky oh, shots like that. No. Oh. No. Really checking the angles, isn't it? No. No. Don't see the ball, it's going to go like that. Really going for difficult shots, like right now. Like that. <laughs> I'm going to see a live TV camera there. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's German nudist beaches anyway, that's that one. Uh, driver Herbert Mayer, uh, this is a German, crashed into a tree after he was overpowered by fumes from strong cheese he was carrying. Uh, in 30, the temperature was 35 degrees, he's carrying a lorry load of cheese and he just crashed out, huh? This is sort of the cheese. Uh, this is uh, more John Prescott's story. Um, this is the rift between him and his father goes on. They're really rowing, uh, John Prescott and his dad. He owns about hundred grand a year and owns one of the largest homes in his Hull constituency. It's an eight-bedroom Gothic revival building known locally as Prescott's Castle. Famously, he drives a Jaguar. One Labour MP once asked him uh, how a working-class lad did that. How do you drive a Jag? He says, I'll stick the key in and turn it. How the bloody hell do you drive yours? <laughs> Which is, uh, this is a very good line. Um, also, it, it hit, you know he was a cocktail, uh, he was a cocktail waiter on yeah. ship's liners. I didn't realise, in, in the Commons, whenever he speaks, people go, gin and tonic, please. <laughs> it was <like laughs> ordering drinks. Um, here's one here, this is his master's choice. A dog has been promoted uh, to the board after helping her owner win a 500,000 export order. Oh, Interesting story, this one. Oh, well, you'll be the judge of that. Laser plant boss Andrew Charlton had to take his border collie, Kirsty, into work in Alderley Edge, Cheshire, because his wife was out. So he's taking the dog, collie, into work. And his pet charmed visiting Taiwan businessmen. Andrew said they gave us a much lar larger order. I'm sure it's down to the dog. Oh, yeah, I bet. I bet having a really boring day. Some of this dog cuts in, they're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, this is uh, fed up Mick Knight, has no problems pulling, pulling girls because he finds it hard. He's, he's interfering mum. His mum interferes all his relationships. It's an extraordinary story in the Star today. If you want to read about a real interfering mother, uh, W Cash, this is a stampede at a bank. Uh, uh, Abbey National Cash Point started paying out twice as much money as people actually wanted. Oh, really? Yeah, if you're asking. 40 quid pays out 80. The issue is, someone here says they, they asked. They, put, they wanted 40 quid and they got 80 quid out. They said, then I went straight to the back of the queue again to queue up and get some more. 
Why don't you straight away get your daily limit? <laughs> or oh, go back, get another 40 pounds, get another 80. <laughs> Just get 200, take the 400, clear off. <laughs> Unbelievable. And lastly, in the Independence Day, the Independence sets an extraordinary news agenda. Today, they give you the complete guide to swallowing a sword. How to swallow a sword? Yeah. It's a it's a, don't try that at home. It's a bizarre thing. They give you all the tips. Should you want to sword swallow? Uh, the Independent Day gives you all the tips. Uh, is it the pun down now? Yeah. Should we do that now? Yeah. yeah this is, do you know what? I feel the pun of the week coming up. Yeah. Yeah. First uh, story. Uh, yesterday's son, story. A supermarket worker wins damage for a sausage related injury. <laughs> <laughs> the pun says, bang us and cash. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Oh, oh see what you see. You see a pun, damaged hand, sausage. Oh. <laughs> um, see what you see. Tuesday's Mirror, story, a spoof TV docu-soap makes the police look stupid. I thought it's one of the best puns of the year. It's only made number two in the, in the pun down. Extraordinary scenes here. Let's have a look at this one. The plot thickens. Oh, right right where it hurts, baby. Let's all be upstanding. It's the pun of the week! Yeah. 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 Okay, here we go. Do you know what? Uh, from Tuesday Star, story, a boy uses a sheep... A boy uses a sheep for rodeo riding. Here is Vicky. Sheep Vicky. Yeah. I say Vicky is a genuine real life cockney, ladies and gentlemen. A real life cockney in the house. That is what they look like. All of them. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, she's an astoundingly beautiful cockney. Ladies and gentlemen, cockney Vicky. Hey. Hey. Thanks very much. <laughs> uh, okay, from Tuesday Star. Boy uses sheep for rodeo riding. Oh, yeah. Remember Do you remember this one? This one? It's yeah. an absolute beauty. Let's see the pun. Let's okay. reveal that, please. It says, Grazing Saddles, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Grazing Saddles. At the start, that's a little bit on its way to you stack it with the others. Okay, coming up after the break, we've got George Lucas in the shed. We've got Matthew. We've got Jake Lloyd in the house, but right now this is Channel 4. You're watching the big breakfast where life starts at seven. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah.